on full alert in Kandahar city. Afghan soldiers on the edge, now in charge of security. Sealing off roads following an explosion Wednesday night. Residents say a rocket landed in their neighborhood near the central square. Yet again, civilians are paying the price. The shops are up in flames. People's livelihoods shattered. This is the second attack to hit Kandahar city in as many days. It would have been the Afghan police deployed in force, not any longer. Our soldiers are better trained and more serious. The police force is weak. They only have one magazine of bullets. Our soldiers have 15. But machine guns can't stop explosions. Kandahar is used to attacks, but nothing like Tuesday's truck bombing in the heart of the city. A blast which killed scores of civilians and one the Taliban condemned. Results of investigations are not expected to be revealed until Saturday. But the authorities have decided to implement a new security plan for Kandahar, one that will temporarily put in charge the army's southern commander. The interior minister made the announcement when he visited the bomb site on Wednesday. The army will come with a plan, like design a plan, a security plan, what part of the city to secure the most. And uh, they will have communication among them, like with the police and with the NDS and ISR forces. Yeah, they will be the, the leader. Like they will be, uh, the command will be with the uh, with the army. International forces are also reinforcing troops at the entrances of Kandahar city. Commanders have warned that the province is vulnerable. There are many security agencies which operate in Kandahar. The army, the police, the intelligence, and the list goes on. Government sources have told us that this has been part of the problem. These institutions rarely cooperate or share intelligence, which at times contributes to lapses in security. Details of the new plan are expected to be revealed in the next few days, but it does involve creating security belts around the city by protecting its entrances. Keeping Kandahar safe is the aim. So far, security forces have been largely unable to do that. Zena Khudr, Al Jazeera, Kandahar.